us up some lunch so we can park them and just manage their to get her serving and just hold them for a little bit. We made it back home. India was um, pretty angry with us. She wasn't angry. I think she was just annoyed and she didn't like that test. But we're back home and she's, she feels better and she's bouncing with Eric. She's, she's punching Eric. Just kidding. She's not punching him. Um, and all is good. She passed the test. She won't have to take another test till she's four. So we won't have to do that again anytime soon. Um, hopefully she won't have too many other tests like that. Um, all is good. You wanna walk around? You wanna walk around? Do you wanna go outside? Did you come alive in the night time? Huh? Yeah. <coughs> oh. The crankies, huh? The crankies? The crankies? Oh, look at the moon, baby. Look at the moon. Look, it's a moon, it's a full moon in Leo. Mama's a Leo. This full moon is all about embracing who you are and embracing all that. Okay, you're cranky. Hey, Mama, you want to go outside? Crystal therapy for Andy because she's cranky. She needs Andy, it's your first time being left alone with your dad. But I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna drink whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream. Don't have any tattoos when I get back. Yeah. I need you a face tattoo. So, um, I'm at Target and I'm about to put my mask on and just run in. Um, Indigo is not with me. She's at home with Eric. Eric is at home. Um, this is my first solo trip out since giving birth. And it was kind of hard to leave the house, to be honest. Uh, but I'm here. Um, I just felt like I needed a break. And I think it's good to take breaks when you feel like you need them. Um, so I'm just going to run in there. And um, I like itching to go back. I kind of just want to drive home drive back home right now actually I don't even want to get out of the car um but I'm gonna do it because it's not healthy um I need I think it's healthy for me to have just as I'm not trying to be out here for that long but um, just to get out uh, by myself I think that's that's okay and it's healthy um and Eric Eric should have time I need to be able to trust that um eric will be okay with her without me um because there are some appointments i have um where she can't come with me um coming up so it's a good test run <sighs> and it's a full moon so i i don't know if you can see it but it looks really pretty so i'm glad that i i got a chance to get out and uh take a look at the full moon also so everything's gonna be okay I'm trying to talk myself through it because I feel like I'm already gonna cry <laughs> oh I feel so different now
I literally feel like I'm gonna cry. Okay, it's okay. I can, like can't get out of the car. <laughs> I kind of just want to drive home. But okay, I'm just gonna go in and out so I can go back home. The real quick look at this moon. This is the wolf moon, first moon of the year, and it is super in alignment with me because I'm a Leo and it is full moon in Leo. It's beautiful and I'm glad I got to see it. We are back home. I'm gonna go so wide. She doesn't have any face tattoos. All is well. So I'm, I came, I made it back home. Um, so it was a successful first trip out by myself. I probably won't be doing that very often. Um, I don't really want to. Um, I was probably gone for like 45 minutes tops. But, um, she's good. She's sleeping. And, um, yeah, I don't really like being out without her, to be honest. Um, but it was nice to get a little breather, but I, that was enough for me for a while. We needed these, these cuddles. We needed this. This is uh, Indigo's first night, or all of our first night upstairs. She was sleeping in her crib um, earlier, and we just changed her, or I just changed her. And um, I'm letting her relax a little bit. I don't know if you can see her. Their blinkies, her with her pacifier, and um, I'm gonna put her back to sleep. Hopefully, she'll sleep. But she did good for the first um, four hours, then, or three hours. Because she slept in there from one, from one to four. Actually, one to four thirty. Well, she she got up at four, and then Eric was with her because I just wanted to rinse off, take a quick shower. But um, you know, it's it pretty good for the first night in her room. Um, and then uh, hopefully she'll sleep till like seven maybe after this. We'll see. She's pretty awake right now. She's pretty awake right now. I had to change her diaper. Um, but she was pretty calm. That's one of the most calm diaper changes that we've had thus far. Um, I think she definitely likes being in her room. Which is good because I spent a lot of time decorating it. And it's very peaceful in here. It's warm. It's very convenient. I had everything already set up. All her clothes are here. Um, all her clothes are here, so that will make things much easier just being kind of stationed upstairs rather than in the living room. So, that's what I was like, gonna do. Oh, and it goes all of our stuff. And, um, I'm gonna turn off this flash, but she's she's in her crib. And I'm gonna turn off the flash. She's she, she just makes these little sounds once she's falling asleep. But she seems to like her crib. You can't really see it, but it's nice. She makes the sweetest sounds.
first night upstairs. Someone has woken up. Um, she, I was just with her like almost a few hours ago, but she woke up. She's probably hungry. Uh, I think she's going through a break, ghost spurt because I just fed her. Um, she just ate at six, and it's seven thirty. So she's definitely going through a ghost spurt. Um, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna say hi to her. Uh, I just need to get water because she's eating so much. All these, and, and Mama wasn't there. Yeah, and you woke up in a new place. It was scary. It was scary. You're like, what's going on? Oh, there's baby in the go, baby in the go. Yeah, you like your room, baby in the go? some more water because he would eat so much. He's been eating literally like every hour. So you can imagine like I'm exhausted. I was pretty much up all night with her. Um, which is fine. I don't mind it. Uh, but definitely tired. Hopefully she'll pass out for like <laughs> It seems two hours straight would be nice, um, but she's, she's probably just, I think she's having a growth spurt. They said between one and three weeks, and she'll be three weeks on, on, uh, s Sunday, and this is probably the fussiest she's been this whole time. I think she's definitely going through a growth spurt right now, um. Eric is holding her. He's like half asleep, so I don't know uh, the extent of soothing that he's doing. But it's nice to just have a second. Boost water and I'll probably give myself a little pick me up of a piece of dark chocolate because I deserve it. And actually, I might give myself a placenta pill because uh, I think I need it right now. I need this this morning. I'm not taking all my vitamins yet because I don't like taking that on like an empty stomach. But I am taking this one little placenta pill and um, I'm giving myself some chocolate. So it's it's nice to have like a little piece of dark chocolate when um, I need a pick me up.
Angela, look at you. Look at you. Hi. I thought it's a baby indigo. That's a baby indigo. You trying to punch yourself? That's a baby indigo. What do you think about that? She seems to really like her room, and I'm kind of sleeping, so I'm gonna be quiet. But, um, yeah. Indigo's grown so much. She's grown so much in just only under three weeks, actually. She'll be three weeks in, on Sunday, and today's Friday. Um, I don't remember what. Oh, the 29th. It's Friday the 29th. This is baby indigo. Hello. And look at how much she's grown. This was huge on her. Um, just like two weeks ago, she was swimming in this, and now look at her. She's filling it out perfectly. I think she may even. Yeah, this fits her perfectly. Um, but I feel like she's gonna outgrow it soon. Oh. She's grown so much. <gasps> You've grown so much, baby indigo. She just had a bath. Uh, she didn't like it um, when we were doing it, but now that she's dried and cleaned off, she looks happy. And uh, we're just gonna check out. All done? All done? Back to sleep for baby indigo. Back to sleep. All done. Is your girl spread over now? You're not cranky, Emma. Yeah. Is baby in back? Um, so, I don't know what I think it's the 30th now. It's like 5, 5.30 a.m. or something on the 30th. And I go ahead and go through like a growth spurt. I think we're coming to the end of the growth spurt. Um, because she slept. From like seven thirty ish all the way to like one thirty. Um we did not wake her up. She yeah, slept like five hours straight. We didn't wake her up mostly because I passed out, um and I think she needed to sleep. I mean, I was up with her pretty much that whole 24 hours like and she was feeding like every other hour so like she had not gotten very much sleep either so I think we both needed to sleep and um, so tonight she's only gotten up just like the one time at like 1.30 fed her 
And then she's, she woke up again right now. I've got like five. She's eating. Look at that little baby. Um, and then I feel like the next feed will be like when we're getting up anyway, so. Oh, well, I'm rested. I lost her. And she seems calmer too. So, uh, I think, I think uh, we're winding down in the, in the gross bed. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna be doing um the birth video and then just uh just a second <laughs> 